One night, astronomers watched a red supergiant on the edge of the fireworks galaxy blaze like a slow-burning ember, and then the light simply died. No explosion, no farewell, just an empty patch of sky where brilliance had been. Beyond the stars lies the cosmic unknown, where nothing is ever truly silent. The star was cataloged as N6946-BH1, 22 million light years away, 600,000 times brighter than our sun, swollen to a sphere wider than Earth's entire orbit. For nearly a decade, it pulsed softly in the Hubble Space Telescope archives, a doomed titan gathering fuel for its grand finale. Massive stars end in fireworks. They crush their cores, rebound in titanic shockwaves, and scatter heavy elements across space. That is the rule. But in 2009, observers noticed the star flickering. In 2015, the large binocular telescope caught a last dim gasp. And afterward, nothing. Where telescopes once traced flame-red hydrogen shells, there was only darkness, deadly calm. At first, astronomers suspected a veil of dust. A supergiant can shed outer layers that briefly cloak its dying core, making the star seem to vanish. Yet infrared eyes that pierced dust found only a faint afterglow, too weak by orders of magnitude. There was no expanding shock front, no radioactive debris cloud, no ghostly echo of ultraviolet light sweeping nearby gas. It was as if the star had skipped the show and slipped straight behind the curtain. The leading hypothesis is hauntingly simple. A failed supernova inside N6 946-BH1. Iron piled atop iron until the core imploded. Normally, that implosion rebounds. Nuclear fury flings the envelope outward, lighting half a galaxy. But if the collapsing material swallows its own shock wave, gravity wins outright. The entire star free falls, inward layers raining through horizons of infinite redshift, forging a black hole in utter silence. No blast, no bloom. Only a momentary flare as the outer atmosphere slams into an event horizon, then perfect night. Simulations show that for certain masses, between 20 and 40 suns, this fate is common. The cosmos might conceal more silent burials than boisterous detonations. Every failed supernova means a black hole without a birth cry. Invisible except for the mass it steals from view. If half of all giant stars die this way, the Milky Way could be littered with millions of unmarked graves, wandering alone, warping space-time like unseen reefs beneath a cosmic sea. What if such a star lurked closer? Our nearest red supergiant, Betelgeuse, will pop or collapse within a hundred thousand years. A classic supernova would bathe Earth in dazzling light, yet leave us safe behind our atmosphere. A failed one could vanish overnight. No warning, no spectacle. Yet the newborn black hole's gravity would remain gentle, posing little risk. Danger arises only if the collapse drives asymmetrical jets that fling mass toward us, rattling planetary orbits. We do not know how often that happens. The night sky may host loaded dice we have never learned to read. The disappearance of N6946-BH1 forces astronomers to rebalance their ledgers star death rates, galactic chemical yields, even the expected number of neutron stars, all hinge on how often giants choose silence. Future surveys with the James Webb Space Telescope will comb crowded spiral arms for flickers that wink out forever. Each lost glow tightens the statistical noose around dark collapse. Each survivor that explodes in brilliant color reminds us the universe still knows how to roar. But statistics are cold comfort when confronted with cosmic impermanence. We name stars, mythologize their patterns, and trust their light to outlive civilizations. Yet here is proof that even the brightest can be erased between heartbeats. There was no morning audience on that distant autumn night, only a handful of startled pixels betraying universal truths. Brilliance guarantees nothing Endings are not obliged to announce themselves, 
and silence can weigh more than sound. How many lights have died while we weren't looking? In the span, you've read this line. Photons from 20 trillion distant suns struck Earth's upper air. Some belong to stars already gone, their last messages racing us across the abyss. We navigate by ghosts and celebrate constellations stitched from corpses. Remember this when you stare into evening skies. A missing point of light may mark the birth cry of gravity's most ruthless child. Somewhere in a galaxy not unlike ours, planets that once basked in crimson warmth now orbit emptiness, their night skies unchanging, their histories reset. Someday, perhaps far sooner than we hope, our own sun's light will fail, and someone else will puzzle over the blank space where our story once shone. Not lost, not gone, just swallowed by the dark.